What's going on guys? Kosho here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. And to be completely honest with you, I wasn't sure whether or not I was gonna make this video. Uh, just, you know, it, it was tough for me for one, and there's just a lot of thoughts. Uh, but as time has gone on, I figured uh, this is something that I did want to put out for you guys and talk about. Um, that's the, the passing of John Meadows. And there are people that have put videos out who've known John for way longer than I have, uh, but John was somebody who came into my friend circle uh, within the last year and a half. And to be completely honest with you guys, I don't really have that many friends in that circle. And a lot of people that you see that I do collabs with and work with often, uh, you know, are typically the same people because they, they've come into that circle. And when you're in that circle, you're in for good, you're in for life. And I, I really try to do my best to take care of those people. And you know, uh, I view them as family, to be honest. And when I was first talking to John, you know, I wasn't sure how things were going to go when I worked with him uh, over a year ago. And I was very nervous. You know, I knew who he was, and I've heard so many amazing things. And it was also pretty shocking to me that he was going to give me the time of day to go out and train with him. Uh, but I wanted to share the story with you because I just thought it was really cool for me. Uh, and, and when I arrived at American Barbell in Ohio and I was meeting for him, I was very nervous, right? I was, you know, uh, kind of like on edge the whole time when he was going to show up. And finally I saw him show up and he got out of the car and I figured it was time for me to go. So I got my stuff hopped out. Right away, he looked at me and he was like, what's up, big man? Just like that. And he had this big smile on his face and I knew right away just, you know, uh, how kind and genuine he was because if you guys also don't know this about me I'm very good at reading people their body language their intentions and how things are typically gonna go uh, so right away I start smiling I run over and he gives me a huge hug and he's asking me all these questions about me myself my training my background uh, etc and we had such a great time training together you know he was always kind caring very knowledgeable and just made me feel like I was somebody that he has known a long time. And once again, I'm sure he's done this for a lot of people because quite frankly, no one has ever said anything negative about this man. And I find that just so bizarre, right? There's always something you can find that's like negative about somebody. And the only negative thing I could say is that he's just too damn kind and genuine. Um, but it's the truth. You know, and after we had that training session, we kept in touch a lot uh, via, you know, just texting and communicating. And some people don't know, but we had plans to actually do something together, business with programming in the future. Um, unfortunately, you know, you know, he has passed away and that's no longer going to happen. But the main point of this video is when John had passed away, the industry as a whole uh, took a hit. Right? And I follow a lot of Instagram YouTubers and fitness accounts, and it was literally all day just scrolling through John Meadows' content and the impact that he made on the community, the impact that he made on the athletes, and just everybody in general uh, hurt that day. You know, And only knowing him for a year and a half, but being able to have a lot of conversations with him, you know, talk about business and life, and you know, just be able to be in his presence and get the wisdom that he had uh, shared with me is, is truly a remarkable experience uh, that I'm gonna hold very closely to my heart. And whenever I talk about John Meadows to other people, I always said that that's the kind of person that I wanna be. That's the kind of energy I wanna bring to my content. And I want people to talk about me the way that they talk about John Meadows. And he was always someone in the back of my mind that I was trying to emulate you know, especially as I continue on my journey being a young man, as I progress and get older and older, you know, all those values and morals that he embodied is, is what I want to be like. Uh, so, you know, when, when I had found out uh, that he had passed away, it really shook me. It was really tough. And, and I know, like I said, there are people who have known him for a long time, and I may be a nobody in that aspect, uh, but it really made me upset. I was really sad that day. I still am sad. Uh, and it's taken me some time to process, like, you know, when someone that awesome and that genuine uh, gets taken, you know, from us, it's it's really tough to, to cope with and to handle. Uh, so, you know, as you guys are watching all this footage of him and I training, and, and hopefully you guys watch the videos in depth uh, on the channel, you know, I, I wanted to make this video to, to really show you that he was just a truly outstanding and amazing individual for what he stood for 
you know, he was a family man, you know, he was a coach, he was a mentor, uh, he was a friend to many people, he was an athlete, you know, amongst all the other things that he was. Um, but I, I wanted to just, you know, really hit home how special of a human being he was to our industry. And even people who disagreed with him, <laughs> you know, said just how awesome this, this man was, you know. So that just goes to speak volumes about him. Uh, and also, if you guys don't really know much about him, okay, I want you guys to go to his channel, go to his uh, Instagram, any content you can find on him and just start consuming it all. Because the cool thing about him is, is much like myself, he was involved with all the communities, right? He trained at Westside Barbell, typically a powerlifting uh, gym. He was a bodybuilder, okay? He, he worked with, uh, you know, pro athletes. And his knowledge was just so deep and also so wide. Uh, so he brought a lot of people together and he bridged the gap for a lot of industries. Uh, so, you know, I'm making this video to uh, remember him, you know, to have you guys know how much he impacted me, you know, in such a short amount of time, uh, but also to continue his legacy on. You know, making this video is a constant reminder of who I want to be when I grow up. And he is someone who really I did emulate and want to be like. And I think if we can, you know, do more of that in the industry, we are going to uh, make the world a better place and also leave the world a better place. So that's kind of all I wanted to just talk about with you guys. And I shouldn't even have to say this, but this video is not monetized. Okay, I'm not making, I don't want to make any money off of this. I just want you guys to know how important of a person he was. I want you guys to uh, emulate his qualities, morals, and values and spread those and go and just watch all of his content, consume it, digest it, and truly understand uh, who he was as a human being. So uh, if you guys watch this video, thank you so much. It took me some time to put it together. I'm a, I can be a pretty emotional person and uh, you know that, that definitely rattled me for a little bit of time and I wanted to be able to put my thoughts together uh, in a professional manner. Um, but you know, we're going to miss you, John. I'm going to do my best to make you proud, ma'am. Uh, you know, I spoke with him you know, right before he had passed away. And I also had gone through that leg workout uh, at Elite FTS with Dave, you know, one of his best friends. And uh, that was, you know, uh, that, that hit home even more for me. You know, that's probably something I'm gonna have to do now every single year uh, to, to remember him as I continue to live on uh, by, you know, his, his legacy. So that's all guys. Hopefully uh, you guys will go and watch all his stuff and just know how much an amazing human being he is. All right, later.